hello everybody welcome back to my channel i am nyasha and this is a makeup a difference um so i'm back with a video um really really been anticipating making this video nobody told me that being a mother or motherhood is so hard hence why i took a break from youtube because i was it was so much for me because I'm like, I'm only just starting to grow my channel. Yeah, grab your water. I've got my water. I also got some coffee, which has gone cold because I am filming about four videos thank you for everybody who subscribed i think the last time i filmed it was 163 subscribers now it's 170 yay make it to 200 oh my god by end of this month that's like my goal let's reach to 200 oh, i just wanted to talk about my journey as being a um, first time mom on how really how hard it's really been especially the first two i think it's third i think it's the third month i started actually coming into things like you know the the hard moments of just looking after my baby and being a mom on its own all of that breastfeeding so this is all gonna i'm just all gonna tell it all oh come on you're not supposed to be here what you doing i had a very easy pregnancy i'm not gonna lie um from especially comparing to the other pregnancies other people that i hear other people have um i just thank god that i had that what i wasn't fully prepared for and i don't think nobody knows i think for my second baby i will be more, more prepared so i wasn't prepared on the difficulty and on how it was it was going to be um it's something that i never wanted to discuss but i feel really good discussing about it now because i've heard a couple of people have been through this so yeah my baby pulled in my stomach and so it was like a quick process like we went for a checkup because my water broke but um they were like white color is the we and the we was kind of like yellow orangey so they're like okay you're not going back home let's go so obviously my birth experience was quick and when i gave birth to my baby i only had him for six hours was it six or four i think it was six or four hours and stuff um i i did deliver natural it was natural birth no the only thing i had was gas and air but um yeah so throughout being in the labor unit is it labor unit i think it's labor unit. i can't remember the name now where you know after you give birth they put you there so obviously they were just observing him since he was born you know in meconia i don't know if i'm saying it right meconia meconi yeah that name so yeah it was um it, it he was it was okay like they were checking his breathing everything was completely fine until later on at night he was started breathing way too fast he wasn't feeding um he wasn't taking on the boob he was pretty much trying to breathe and you know because he had probably stuck in his lungs and everything so they took him to the nicu so i was on my own at this point so my husband wasn't there it was so hard for me because i had just only seen my child for a couple of hours and yeah it was horrible so we stayed in the hospital for five days and seeing my baby being poked and you know just trying to take bloody things they have to do but it was so horrific for me and seeing him cry and being in an incubator it was so awful for me so i never shared this when i shared my labor experience and whatnot because i wasn't ready 
but i feel like i'm ready now and it's something to just encourage people out there even if you go through something like this you will come out the, i knew my baby was gonna survive because i know the god that i serve you know what i mean I, it was hard <laughs> so uh, he's he we stayed five days the next day we were out thank you jesus so when we came back home i didn't know that we're just gonna enjoy our little baby he was so small for like <laughs> just three days and then colic started oh my god <sighs> colic is evil but i know it's the baby's intestines just uh, trying to get used to the milk and this digestive system just getting used to everything you know it's all new but for me it was hard i've never cried so much in my life as i did the baby my baby boy would cry so hysterical that I didn't know what to do i would also cry and my husband would just comfort me and then i'll be like dripping my 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 breast milk would just be dripping so the stress of all of that of the colic he's colic thank you jesus that it only lasted two months i think one in one and a half months um i like was struggling you know my baby was also struggling to latch on my nipple and it was stressing me out because then i was feeling like i'm not like what was going on my baby is just not latching because he was so small and his mouth was small and you know the size of my nipple was just too big for him but the older he got i kind of felt discouraged so i kind of altered to um expressing milk and i was like do you know what as long as he's having my breast milk i will express and give him in the bottle because the bottle is easy because it just flows out with the boob he has to put in work he did latch on a couple of times but it was not all the time um so to be honest i do kind of blame myself because i could have put on more effort but i didn't um i just said you know what as long as he has my breast milk but colic when colic hit even though he was having my breast milk for a good two to three months um he he we were starting to think he's allergic to milk and my milk and it was all sorts it stressed me the the life out it stressed me out you know and i didn't know like producing breast milk also comes with in, in what's the oxytocin hormone which is a happy hormone and i was mostly stressed because i'm thinking i pump and then i'm seeing this little bit and i'm thinking my baby doesn't have formula he just has my breast milk what so uh, within two months i was also th give i was having i was having old like intif which is um i think cow and gate anticholic I can't remember the name now. Oh, colic milk, colic something. So we're giving him that. So which kind of helped me out pump and actually save so many and whatnot. But I started relying too much on the formula, and I was not producing that much milk. Um, yeah, it was. It's something I even hate still talking about, but. I really struggled with the breastfeeding journey and um, I think obviously with my next one God willing not anytime soon though I will be putting more effort I feel like it's some I feel like I owe myself that but yeah I didn't so it was so hard I didn't breastfeed for so long and um, I didn't express milk for that long because I wasn't producing much milk and I just was I think the last day I gave up I literally cried and I was like what kind of, what's that, what type of mom am I I can't even breastfeed I can't even pump for long I asked more my friends are like oh nine months yeah we breastfeed for nine months almost here and I'm like yeah so I just looked at it like this at the end and I said as long as my baby is getting the nutrition that he needs as long as he's healthy and feeding that's all that matters obviously 
a lot of people can have stuff to say about this but i am um it's still very hard i'm not gonna lie just thinking about it but um it was such a stressful moment for me i just never knew how hard it is like with the colleague situation you know i am a sister of five or six. Oh no <laughs> but and i've babysitted all my little sister my little sisters i just have never heard that like my mom even talk about this and i was like listen why nobody told me about colic why nobody told me the hardness of breastfeeding i wasn't prepared i think i was prepared more for the labor but the aftermath i wasn't so it was so hard so after the colic oh thank you jesus the colic is finished my baby can sleep there was also <laughs> and vaccines and stuff and everybody says it's normal but just experience it there's not there's a difference in having knowledge and an experiential knowledge and i feel like i experienced it and i was like i think it's so many times i was just like i'm not doing this again i'm sorry i said it to my husband so many times i'm gonna do this again i'm sorry you know there was just moments he would just scream and i'm like oh i don't know what to do what do i do and and stuff so yeah it's just the responsibility and the life your life completely 360 degrees changing um yeah it was it was very hard and it kind of took a toll on me I, I don't think i had any depression or whatnot but it made me a little like okay shaken up because i was thinking whoa you know when your baby is so clingy and wants always to be next to you which is normal because they were in the womb in warmth for nine months and they're out there they don't want to be put down i understand all this now but before i didn't um i would be like i just want to put you down i just want to go have a shower there was days i think even now sometimes because my baby is teething I can go without having a shower in a day because I'm so knackered by the time my husband comes back or if he's doing a night, I just want to sleep and I'll think about it the next day because my focus is on my baby. So it's a complete life change and I literally honor every single mother who is single, who does this on their own because boy the strength god has to give you is immense because i feel exhausted and i'm not a single mother so i always think how do single mothers do it you guys are strong and you deserve a lot of honor because that's a lot I also think it's God who gives you strength because sometimes I don't realize how exhausted I am until my husband comes home I just pass out but before he's there he's not there I am you know you know I'm jacked out already you know, for anything but yeah motherhood has not been easy for me for the first month to the third I I still have my struggles there especially now the baby's teething but I think I have, I think with time you be, you build a resilience. I don't know if that's long suffering, if that's the word you, I'm able to deal with the difficult moments. I'm able to deal with him being unconsolable, crying. Even I can't help him sometimes if like, if his, his gums are hurt and I give him cup or I do everything I can if i can't do anything my whole thing is pray and comfort him that's it i can't i'm no longer crying when he's crying <laughs> oh my goodness them jobs i used to cry like i'm like Ooh. it was awful my husband would be like he'll be fine <laughs> like, no you weren't why are you so sensitive it's really really um you know awesome you know being new first-time parents it's also a make and break of a relationship and um, we've had moments 
where it's been hard because also hormones are like flying left right and center and we had had moments where it was hard also for us as a married couple um but i really thank god that you know he helped us to come together on those difficult moments i never never thought having a break and having help is so important sometimes i try to take it all on myself but that's not good it's best to just ask for help when needed and also have a break like today i'm having a break doing what i love filming and whatnot but yeah my baby is five months five months old now he's teething he's going through a hard patch again and somebody just told me that teen to toddler is even worse so you know what god gave me strength for the first and third month he will give me strength for the other months too i might want to rip my hair sometimes but i know i will get through it so it's just an encouragement to anybody who's a first time mom there you can do this with in god's strength not in your own strength in god's strength so i'm so grateful for every ups and downs that i've been through as a mom for the past five months it's taught me so much it's taught me taught me so much <laughs> i never thought i'd do this video you know honestly <laughs> thank you guys for everybody that's been still subscribing and commenting even new subscribers that have been still here and commenting my videos and um i think that's the end of this video Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. God bless you and bye.